All right, I'm going to show you how to do the ladder stitch, which is an excellent um, invisible stitch to close stuffed animals or pillows, um, and it's a really good repair stitch also. Um, so I'm going to begin by uh, pinning my two edges together uh, so that the folded edges are in line with my um, seams where I began and finished off and left this opening. My needle's going to go in and just kind of wing it up into the seam, back a little bit into your machine stitches so you can pop and hide your knot up under that seam. Then, where this thread is coming out, I'm going to put my needle in. I've got a yellow side and a blue side here, and um, you can choose either one. I'll start with the yellow, and I'm just taking a little stitch. Your stitch is just going to be going under the fold of each um, uh, side of your fabric. So, you know, here's the fold of the fabric and your needle's going right under there like a tunnel. So all of your stitching is underneath the fabric so you do not see the stitches on top. So go ahead and take that first stitch and then I'm coming back across to this side and taking a stitch directly across the street from where my thread is coming out and now I'm going in on the blue side taking a little stitch and now I'm heading over to this side and you just keep alternating sides back and forth and now I'm coming over to the blue side like that and when you pull on these stitches they all um, disappear into the fabric and that's what makes it such a great closing stitch. Um, you would be making slightly smaller stitches than this. This is felt, so I'm kind of using long stitches so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, about an eighth of an inch is, a, is the stitch length that you want to use. And I'm just going to cruise across here to finish this up. Don't wait as long as I'm waiting. Try to give it a nice tug after every two stitches or so. Um, it'll be easier to pull those tight if you do it as you go rather than trying to wait till the end. Um, and then when I'm getting to the end here where my machine stitches pick back up, I'm going to go past the machine stitches a couple of stitches to tie off my thread. Give that a nice tug. So see these um, stitches all disappear here. I'm going to take my pins out that were holding my edges together. And to tie a knot, I'm going to bring my thread up in the seam. So my last stitch was kind of on the edge. I'm going to bring it into the seam. And Take a um, stitch right under a machine stitch. You can get your needle right under the machine stitch where your thread is coming out, or you can just catch a little tiny bit of the fabric there. Make a loop, put your needle through the loop and pull, and I'm going to do that a second time, same place, right under that same knot. Leave a loop, put your needle through the loop and pull. And then to hide this knot, I'm going to put my needle in right next to the knot, and let this uh, needle come out at a random place on the pillow, pull, and if you just support that seam, you can um, pop that knot down a little deeper into the seam, and then you don't uh, see it. And then you can fluff your stuffing back up, and then you've got a nice invisible um, seam. And of course, we just clip this thread, and it just gets hidden inside the pillow, so you don't have your tail threads sticking out. The end. <laughs>